man. We must get rid of this canker on it. That boy was born to be hung, Mrs. Pony. I've never been so shocked in all my days. Gosh, Mr. Bumble, you must have had quite a turn. Sit here and have a nice cup of tea. Oh, it's so nice to be appreciated, man. Ooh. Them there paupers in this here parish don't appreciate me. Anti-parochial they are. Anti-parochial. We give them away a matter of 20 loaves and cheese and a half on this very blessed afternoon, and still, them paupers are not contented. Of course they're not. When would they be? Sweet, Mr. Bumble? Oh, very sweet indeed, ma'am. You little tinker, you. You have a cat, ma'am. I see you kittens, too, I declare. Yes, I'm so fond of them, you can't imagine. And they're fond of their homes. <laughs> Mrs. Corny, ma'am. I must say that any cat or kitten that can live with that and not be fond of the toe must be an idiot and don't deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bumble. Well, there's no disguise in the facts, ma'am. What an idiot! I'd drown it myself with pleasure. You're a very hot-hearted man at all. Hot-hearted, Mrs. Pony? Hot. Hot-hearted, Dad. Are you hot-hearted, Mrs. Pony? Oh, dear me, what a very curious question coming from a single man. Whatever could you want to know for? <gasps> Yes, I did, and it's beguiling. If your hand is close, I'll press it. Yes, you'll like it. Don't confess it. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Stop him, Yitty. 
goodness to come here a moment, my lady. What do you want? Well, what do you I was telling you, Mr. Bumble. Oh, hello, Mr. Bumble. <laughs> hello, Mrs. Sowerberry. <laughs> if we may consider taking the boy to help in the shop. Well, dear me, he's very small. Oh, he is rather small. There's no denying it. But he'll grow, Mrs. Sowerberry. He will grow. I dare say he will. Our victuals and our drink. They're a waste of time, these workhouse boys. They are as possible to keep them what they're worth. Still, you men always think you know best. What are you going to do with them? Yes, there's, there's a delightful look of melancholy on his face, my dear, which is extremely interesting, wouldn't you say? He would make an excellent coffin father. A what? I don't mean a regular coffin follower to follow grown-ups, but only for the children's practice. It would be nice to have one in his proportion, my sweet. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the more I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just for once, you might have a decent idea. Very well then, boy, what's your name? Oliver. Oliver Twist, ma'am. A singular name. I, ma'am, and one of my own choosing. Yours, Mr. Rumble. Mine, Mrs. Salaberry. Well, how does that, Mr. Rumble? The boy's mother came to us destitute, brings a child into the world, takes one look at it, and promptly dies without leaving so much as a forwarding name and address. Oh, dear, dear. Very well, then. Oliver Twist, do you think you can look like that gentleman up there?
Hallelujah. 